Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. I wasn't planning on doing yours next, but uh, that's the way it goes, right? Uh, I didn't think that you were up next, but here we are. So this is what we have for Sagittarius for the month of October. Timing is fluid though, so let's just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius? That's too many. One card, please. There it is. Voyage. Ooh. You're taking a journey, Sagittarius. You're taking a journey. Uh, a voyage typically is a long journey to me. Okay? So you may be taking a long journey. You may be being carried somewhere, you know? Um, I'm not sure exactly what is happening, but you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere. Um, traveling, perhaps? Let me just take a look at the book and read it to you, what she has to say. Just because I like to do that sometimes. Mmm. Humpback whales make the longest journey of any mammal. They travel 14,000 miles every year. They spend the summer months near polar regions, and in the winter they journey toward the equator to the tropical waters. Among some native tribes, whales are considered to be protectors of travelers and journeyers as well as guardians of the sea. This card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you, you have protectors at your side. Get ready, you are about to embark on a journey. It might be an inner one or an outer voyage to the distant land. It might be a project or idea that is coming to your life, but most certainly you are an intrepid traveler, sallying forth into the unknown. Where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience, but also be prepared for the unexpected. This is part of the exhilaration of being a traveler. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the destination. So you're definitely taking a journey. And, you know, I feel like it may be a little scary, but you need to enjoy it and let go of your fears by the looks of things. And expect the unexpected. So, looks like you're protected, right? Remember, I think I said guiding or somebody's taking you there. That must be your protector. You have a protector. Somebody that's guiding you. I guess that's it, huh? Three of Cups. Three of Cups, so this is a get-together. It's having fun, celebrating, celebrating with friends. So you're going to be getting together with friends, having fun, um, talking. You may be meeting new people. I think you are going to be meeting new people. Yeah, I think you're going to be making new friends. I think this is new friends. I do. There's people of all different ages here, too, so it's interesting. There may be one that's right around the similar age as you, but I feel like you're going to be making some new friends. Mm. I guess we'll take those. Things seem to be falling right into place. Something's going to be falling right into place for you. Ooh. Scissors. De disappointment in some affair. Ooh, 
broken wishbone, wish will not be granted, unicorn, use your intuition to make a beneficial, to make beneficial changes. So you're going to need to use your intuition. There's a wish that isn't being granted, but it's not being granted for a reason. Sometimes we make wishes that we shouldn't make. Okay, that's a reality. You know, there's that song, thank God for unanswered prayer. Sometimes we wish for things and we pray for things that aren't healthy for us. So there may be a wish that isn't granted, but I think it's probably a blessing in disguise. I think you're going to be disappointed that something doesn't turn out the way that you had hoped. But you will, and you see, intuition is about guidance. And I do feel like you're being guided. So really pay attention to your intuition because you're going to be guided in a new direction this month. I know that you are. And it does involve other people. There's going to be other people that are going to be supporting you on this voyage. Hermit. Retreat. So this is retreat. This is healing. This is going within. Going your own way. Going into a period of withdrawal. You may be going into a period of withdrawal. You may. Maybe you need to. This is time to withdraw from others. Completely go within. Take some time alone. Plan your next move. Realize your true identity. Listen to yourself. Maybe you need time a time out. A time out. Maybe you need a time out from people you've been hanging out with. There's something to do with friends or family here. I'm not sure what it is, but this is time out. A need to go your own way. Now this is about a retreat. It's time to retreat from the world. Maybe you need to heal from something. From something not going in your favor by the looks of things. And that happens to all of us. It's the things that don't kill us that make us stronger. Temperance. There is healing here. You are going to... And I, you know what I, when I saw here? And I didn't say it. Was nurses. I don't know if you'll be, be working with nurses this month. Something to do with nurses. Anyhow, um, now this is healing. These are both cards of healing. So I'm not sure what you're healing from, but you're going to be healing from something. This is a time of change. <coughs> a time of introspection. A need to be flexible. A need to accept and allow that something has probably ended in your life. And I'm going to say that something has ended because this comes after the death card. And this means that you have to accept and allow change. You've evolved. Whatever has happened has changed you, has made you wiser. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So this is wise. Very, very wise. So you are gaining some sort of wisdom through whatever journey you're on. You know, I always think of Sagittarius's as the old souls. I don't know why, but that's how I feel. So I do feel, I feel that very strongly. I don't, I just do. So I feel like you are going to need time to heal from something that has ended. You, will, you are going to need to be patient. You're going to need to cooperate. This is also a card of protection. So you do have some sort of universal protection. You are being protected. But you have to accept and accept loss. Okay? Don't, don't cling to something that you're not supposed, that doesn't bring you balance. Okay? Uh, I feel as though you need to find some sort of self-discipline to change because that's what this is. And the only one that can do it is you. Now, the temperance card is a card of evolution. There's something that has changed within you. You're not the same person you need to be. Accept it. Accept it. You can't go back to who you used to be. 
if you're not that person anymore. I feel as though uh, you need to blend to create some sort of harmony in your life, okay? Something is, is going to happen that makes you need, feel like, well, it's a change for one thing. It makes you need to, you know, retreat. This is withdraw, okay? You need to withdraw from the world. Go within and think about what has happened. And heal. These are both really big healing cards. So you got, you're going to be healing from something this month. And it's going to take time. And it's going to take patience. Both these are time. And I don't mean just a couple of weeks. This is time could take a long time okay I'll break it down um, and I know patience is big I mean your patience isn't easy oh we got a couple flippers hangman reversed king of wands reversed and the strength card reversed now this definitely healing is needed you are going to need to heal now, this is, this is, the hangman is somebody that needs to think. This is somebody that refuses to go in, that is obsessed with control. This, they, all three of these cards are obsessed with control. We have, we have somebody, and you can point the finger at somebody else until you are blue in the face. And that right there is a person that doesn't accept responsibility. So do not point the finger at somebody else at this very moment. This is, if you are saying this isn't me right now, then this reading is definitely for you. If you are saying this is me, this is you that is more awakened than that other person. We have somebody here that is refusing to go in, will not change, that is not learning a lesson, that has a very big ego. These are ego, ego, ego. Do not say it's somebody other than you. Because the person that says that it's not me has the biggest ego. There's, there's need to control. We got somebody here that likes to be in control. They will not change. They don't think they need to change. Very egotistical, very arrogant, very angry. Not very graceful, not very tactful. Likes to be in control. So, the universe sees. The universe sees. Universe, 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 universe. The universe sees that a change is needed. They do see. They see. And I feel like a change is needed for you. Because I feel like there is some sort of overindulgence here. Somebody is not controlling their... They don't have discipline. There's a lack of discipline. There's a lack of self-control. There's a lack of balance. There's... Uh, unwillingness to change your habits or something and there's a need to re-identify and you know come up with another plan so I think that you there's there's planning that is needed here and I think that it's for you maybe you need some sort of health counseling or something I don't know I think this has to do with your health I do I think there's going to be some sort of disappointing news that comes your way because you haven't been taking care of your health. Sorry, but that's the way I feel. 
I feel as though you're, you, you may, some of you may have some anger issues that need to be dealt with. Okay, there's, there's, there's definitely uh, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. You don't, some of you don't believe in yourself. And when you have those kinds of issues, you become controlling as a way to make yourself feel better, you know? And we all, this, I mean, this isn't, I'm not trying to blast you. I'm trying to help you. But we do have somebody here. Definitely don't want to hear it. It's not me. So you're going to need to find your discipline, your self-discipline to accept. It feels like there's help that is needed. Somebody needs help. They need help. They need a team. They need, they need a team. They need their friends. Um, they need to plan. They need to take time to plan. You know, you need to plan your next move. And, that and you need to really think about things. You need to make some changes. There's some changes that you need to make. But it's like I don't have to. That's what this is. I'm not. I'm not changing a damn thing. Well, if you're not changing a damn thing, then nobody's going to want to be around you. I will not change. Fine. Don't change. You may be alone. And I love Sagittarius. Believe it or not. But I'm not here to sell you some bullshit story. I'm here to help you find balance and peace and harmony in your life. And if you live in a place of denial... That is not going to get you anywhere. And if people keep telling you a pile of shit every week, you're never going to wake up. You need to find your strength and your discipline and your willpower. To change. I feel as though this month, there could be, you know, this could be punishment. It could be. When somebody doesn't change, I mean, there's, sometimes there's punishment for that. Hangman could be punishment. Absolutely. Nine of Cups reversed. That's lack of wish fulfillment. That is totally dissatisfied, not happy. Somebody may be ending up not very happy with the circumstances. Um, there's a lack of respect for others here. We have somebody here that doesn't respect others. Very arrogant. And, they're, and it feels like they're going to get taken down a notch and somehow. Mm. Seven of Cups. There's other options. There is. There's other options. There's plenty of options. You have to choose wisely. Be careful because what you own owns you. This is a card of consequences. Somebody is going to be making a choice in the very near future and there's going to be consequences, good or bad. I honestly don't feel like they're going to be good. I'm just being honest with you. Because of these cards right here, it's like refusing this is we got somebody here that is very very uh oh it looks like angry um impulsive unreasonable controlling uh won't change and it's you and i'm telling you what it's you 
and I don't, I don't care if you like me. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to help you. If you don't change, you could end up in the hospital. And I don't know how that resonates, but I've been wanting to say it. Or jail. This could be jail. This one I saw jail as well. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about memories. Nostalgia. Reminiscing. Reminiscing about the past. Somebody may be angry about the past. Because this is angry. This one is true. Unable to control emotions. Both of these cards. There could be some medicating going on. Could be self-medicating. Could be. Definitely. Could be drinking. Mixing up drinks. I don't know. Concoctions. Whatever. And this is reminiscing about the past. From the childhood or something like that. May have something to do with a father. There could have been abuse from a father. Could have been mental abuse. Or a lack of parenting from a father. Something to do with a father. Could even be a mother. Anyhow, it's time for you to withdraw and heal. This is a period of a healing. It is. Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles is a new opportunity. It's setting goals. It's laying a new foundation. It's finding that determination and investing in your health. It's putting in the effort. It's starting over this month. It's just following through, starting going through a new door, starting from scratch all over this month. So I feel like this month you do have a new beginning here. You will be given an opportunity to start over. But you're going to have to set goals and follow through. And find the discipline that you have been lacking. You can't keep going back to the past. It's time for you to heal and make better choices. If you're in a situation now that is very controlling and manipulative, maybe maybe it's your own ego that is keeping you there, and I think it is. Placing blame on anybody but yourself is self-deception. You are your own person. You make your own choices. The moment you point the finger at anybody but yourself, you are not accepting responsibility. It's time to withdraw from others. Reflect on your life. Completely go within. It's time for a change. So this is a month about realizing your true identity. I feel like you're going to realize it because of an... Oh, I think there's going to be an incident. I do. I think there's going to be an incident that either lands you in the hospital or in jail. I could be wrong. Good luck.